Welcome back. Now, the Sushant Singh Rajput case. Yes, remember that's where it all started, has gone through many twists and turns. There's been more drama. The policeman who was heading the probe from Bihar into Sushant Singh Rajput's death, DGP Gupteshwar Pandey, has suddenly taken voluntary retirement from the police service amidst a buzz that he's likely to contest the political elections on a JDU BJP ticket in the forthcoming assembly polls. What does this mean for the IPS? And importantly, was the Sushant case always about Bihar politics? The Dabang cop who instills fears in the hearts of criminals and a champion of justice for Sushant Singh Rajput. This snazzy music video produced by former Bihar top cop himself accompanied the announcement that Gupteshwar Pandey has taken voluntary retirement from the Indian police service to contest the Bihar elections ironically on police reforms day kisi bhi dal ka koi bhi neta chahe wo gaon ke astar ka ho ya prant ke astar ka ho ya rashtra ke astar ka ho wo agar mujhe ek meri galti bata de nikal de meri nishpakshta par ungli utha de jitne bihar 34 saal mein chunav hue maine karaya hai this year, Gupteshwar Pandey hit national headlines after the Bihar police registered an FIR against Rhea Chakraborty in Sushant Singh Rajput death case. Over three months into the investigation, Pandey says his resignation has got nothing to do with the high-profile mystery. Certain that the former Bihar top cop will now be entering the electoral battlefield in the upcoming Bihar elections. The man himself, though, is keeping his cards. So the big question, is the Sushant Singh Rajput case actually really tied up with Bihar politics? Is the IPS getting increasingly politicized as the Gupteshwar Pandey case appears to suggest? Ajay Alok is JDU leader. Satish Manishinde, senior advocate and advocate for Riya Chakrabarti. MN Singh, former Mumbai police commissioner, are my guests at the moment. I want to come to you, Satish Manishinde, because you have made a very serious charge soon after you heard that Gupteshwar Pandey was taking VRS. You claimed that this entire issue was now about justice for Gupteshwar Pandey and not justice for Sushant Singh, that the entire Bihar administration was hand in glove with Gupteshwar Pandey and this was all about politics. You want to amplify what you are trying to say? Yes. Uh, in fact, if you see the history of this case, the Mumbai police had almost come to an end of their investigation. They had examined 56 witnesses. They had conducted the post-mortem. Post -mortem. They had conducted the forensic evidence. And they had conducted forensic audit of the accounts of Sushant Singh. And they had almost come to an end of the investigation. And that report is lying on the Supreme Court. In the midst of that, the Patna police registered an offense under 306 and various other offenses of abetment, suicide, and misappropriation of assets of uh, Sushant Singh. Mm -hmm. Subsequently, it has come to light that there is no misappropriation of any of his monies. Not a single penny has come from the account of Sushant Singh to Riya Chakravarti. That apart, the Supreme Court did not find anything amiss with the report submitted by the Mumbai police. So therefore, I am of the considered view that the investigation carried out by the Mumbai police was totally within the provisions of law and they had committed no irregularity. CBI came into the picture two months back. The, the speed with which the Bihar police transferred the case to the CBI and the central government accepted it within 24 hours, much before the matter was heard by in the Supreme Court, the Solicitor General came before the Supreme Court and said, that we are in agreement with the Bihar government and we are accepting the CBI uh, transfer mm -hmm. and we are handing it over. The case will be registered and the notification will be passed much before it was actually notified. So this, this you can understand, was probably to facilitate the transfer of the case from Mumbai to the CBI. The Supreme Court has given a judgment. It is not necessary that we so should all agree with the correctness of the judgment but we had to accept it because it is a... Uh, so you're saying, Gupte, you're saying Gupteshwar Pandey, you are claiming that if Gupteshwar Pandey contests this election, 
it's clear evidence according to you that Gupteshwar Pandey was acting on the behest of either the Bihar government or the center to somehow or the other make the Sushant case a political case. Am I correct? I told everyone that truth will reveal in the end of it. It is slowly and definitely creeping into the society now in the form of Gupteshwar Pandey mm -hmm. acting like a Robin Hood and coming out in the open and saying that he's going, he has resigned. He has taken voluntary retirement and therefore the, the Bihar government and the governor accepted it in no time and granted him VRS totally to facilitate him mm -hmm. to contest the election. But I, I can only Let's... tell one thing, yes. that any political party which is going to contest the ticket of this gentleman as their candidate would be committing suicide. Let and me, let, let, ultimately, that, ultimately, it is not. It is not. It's not justice for. It is not justice for Sushant. Sushant has been forgotten two months back. Mm -hmm. Nobody talks about him. It's only drugs. It's only Pandey and various other factors that are being taken about. And there is even the family after. Uh, Riya Chakravarti made that allegation mm -hmm. to the Mumbai police that the illegally prescribed drugs and the cocktail of the drugs that Sushant Singh was consuming could have led him to suicide. They are not even in public. Let me not take all that you've said, sir, you've made your point. Let me take all of that to you, Ajay Alok, because the charge is that therefore Gupteshwar Pandey was a proxy for the Bihar government. You wanted to make the Sushant case a political case wanted to play on Bihari pride and Gupteshwar Pandey fell into your trap or was more than willing to act as the spokesperson of the Bihar government. And now he's all set to become, we are told, a candidate from Baksar for the JDU-BJP combined. What's the impression? The IPS has been totally politicized. This case has got politicized. See, right from the beginning, the way Maharashtra government acted, and all Mumbai police took 40 long days, but not a single FIR was filed. And you call this is a very great investigation where everything was taken into account. Wow. What a statement. Secondly, we referred the case to CBI. Center accepted. Maharashtra government didn't accept. They went to Supreme Court to challenge it. Supreme Court very clearly transferred the case to CBI. Plus, Supreme Court said that all the case-related things will be registered in Patna court. And still, the esteemed lawyer says mm -hmm. that you may not agree to the Supreme Court. We have a right to defer it, but we have to abide by Supreme Court. So that's a very good way to exempt the contempt of court. No, but what about, what what about right Gupteshwar Pandey, Ajay Alo? I'm what is the role of Gupteshwar Pandey? Your top a, IPS officer is about to join don't your party. Haste, he is the one who has seemed to be haste, leading sir. your investigation. Razi, don't be in a haste. I am coming to it. Sir. Gupteshwar Pandey was a DGP of the state. A DGP comes under direct command of a home minister and the chief minister. On the instruction of chief minister, when chief minister met the parent of Sushant Singh Rajput, an FIR was lodged here in Patna. And subsequently, the treatment meted to the Bihar police by the Maharashtra and the Mumbai government and the Mumbai police when they were quarantined. It was ample clear that the Maharashtra government or the Mumbai police won't allow Bihar, government, Bihar police to do a proper inquiry. And that's why we referred the case. Again, it was requested by Sushant's parents that please refer the matter to CBI. Where does the Gupteshwar Pandey political nature come to, our nature comes into account? Which state's DGP held the guts that when a chief minister instructs him to do so, he will not do it? Okay. He was not the investigating officer. The investigating so you're officer saying, was the IPS officer okay. who was quarantined. Okay, you're, you're claiming that this was all done, not, therefore, was this was the Bihar the government's decision. This is not Gupteshwar Pandey. M.N. Singh, former Mumbai police commissioner, is joining me. What's the impression? Here, videos are coming out of Gupteshwar Pandey calling himself Robin Hood or the, the video calling him Robin Hood. He's likely to contest the Bihar election, we are told, next month. Is the IPS politicized? Was all of this that was this entire Sushant case at the end of the day about politics? Well, Rajdeep, I am not surprised that Mr. Pandey has uh, uh, resigned from the police and uh, I'm told he has joined the politics and is going to contest election. Mr. Pandey was always wearing two hats, one of the police and the other of the politics. You know, he was, a he was a politician in uniform, and that's a very sad part as far as the IPS goes. Now, I wish him well, let him contest election, but I'm told he had contested election earlier also after resigning, mm -hmm. lost the election, 
came back to the service, and lo and behold, he was made PG of the state right at the time when the state was was to go to go to election, and now he has quit and is going to contest election. So he always had political ambition. Well, he can pursue the political ambition after leaving the service, but what shocked me was that he had once resigned, contested election, wore a political hat, and was allowed to re allowed to rejoin the police and became the DG of the state. It has never happened in the history of police, Indian police service, and it's a shame on the IPS that an officer resigns, contests elections, loses, comes back, joins the police. How the government of India allowed him to join the police again? And how the state government appointed him the DG of the state, a man who is totally political, whether this party or that party, I don't care. But then his political ambitions were very clear from the beginning. It has never happened in the in the history of the Indian Police Service. The service conduct rules do not permit any IPS officer getting into politi politics. And if it neither before joining the IPS mm -hmm. nor during the IPS. After resigning or after quitting the IPS or after retiring, well, he can join the police. Many IAS IPS officers have joined the uh, politics and they have contested elections. They are ministers also. That's fine. But while you are in the service, you can't quit contest election. And what is this half a step and jump going on? What, this is total violation of the service conduct rules. Anybody can go and check it. I'm amazed that the government of India allowed him. And I'm amazed that the state government accepted. I, I, you know, I, I must allow, I, you know, I have only 30 seconds. Ajay Alok must be allowed to answer that. Ajay Alok, has the Bihar government, by get, giving him VRS within 24 hours, it almost seems when the center approves of it, isn't somewhere okay. to mili bhagat lagti hai, boss? First of all, Razib, koi mili bhagat nahi hai. First of all, you should speak all those words. Razib, words. Razib. Yes. Yes. In 2009, Mr. Mir in 2009, Gupteshwar Pandey did apply for a VRS. He took a long leave for six months waiting for his VRS, which was not cleared. He never contested an election. That's right. He did not he contest. Was in service. He did not contest, so he but he wanted to, to. So he came back to the service. And second thing, 2009, it was a Congress government at the center. It was a UPA government at the center, not the NDA. So there was no gross irregularity in the service conduct. Okay. Second thing, even today, what the question you asked right now, how did the Bihar government allow it? What Bihar government allowed him to do? VRS, he applied one month back. Mm -hmm. It was not made public. It was somewhere in the DOPT. Today, after one month, because code of conduct is going to come in force in two, two to three days. And if after two to three days, state government would have decided, then it would have uh, had to take a permission from election commission. So it was done. It was a okay. normal routine affair. Okay, you he made your point. I gave, I gave you back. the chance to defend the charge. Uh, uh, 30 seconds to you, Satish Manishinde. Yes, Mr. Manishinde, what is the point you uh, want to make? Going, going by what has happened, Bihari style justice for Sushant Singh Rajput is reward Upteshwar Pandey and make him a minister and he'll continue to do whatever this government has done and continue with it. Okay. If this is how, if this is how India is going to work, I pray to God. Okay, let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. He's not the first police officer who's done it and unfortunately possibly won't be the last. MN Singh, Satish Manishinde and Ajay Alok, I appreciate your joining me here on my other talking point. In a Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.